Welcome to the series of video lectures on analysis and design of algorithm that is adder. In last class we have discussed how to write the algorithm and now in this class we will discuss the performance analysis of any algorithm that is in daily life language we know it as complexity of an algorithm. So the performance evaluation of any algorithm can be classified into two different types or parts. One is a priori estimation that is known as the performance analysis and the performance analysis is broadly divided into two parts that is the space complexity and the time complexity. The another part of performance evaluation is a post priori testing that is the performance measurement. So actually it is divided into two parts that is performance analysis and performance measurement. The analysis is done before the implementation and the performance measure is done after the program is developed and we have to test it on the computers. Now in today's class mainly as we know there are two types of complexity we will discuss the space complexity and in the further video or the next video we will discuss the time complexity. Now the space complexity is actually the amount for the amount of memory an algorithm takes to run to its completion. Let's say for example we have created or developed an algorithm. The space complexity of that algorithm will be the total space required to its completion. Now this again can be divided into two parts that is the fixed part and another is the variable part. The fixed part itself is consisting of four different parts that is space for code, space for simple variables, space for fixed size component variables and space for constants. यहां समझते हैं कि इसका मतलब क्या है जो स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी का फिक्स पार्ट है दैट इज बेसिकली इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट नो व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज एक्चुअली द नंबर एंड साइज ऑफ द आर्ग्युमेंट्स दैट इज द नंबर एंड साइज मेनली सो द फिक्स पार्ट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट इज नंबर एंड साइज of the input and output parameters and it consists of space for code what is that space for code jitni bhi line ka hum code likhenge it will require some space that space we we may treat as a constant second part will be the space for simple variables so number of variables which are used in the algorithm will consume a fixed amount of memory for example we are using three variables in our algorithm so it will take three words of memory here we are using a common term word we are assuming that a variable will consume one word of memory so the second part will be space for the simple variable now my next is the fixed size component variable what does it mean fixed size component variable for example i want to store the information of a student then as we know that the information of a single student itself consists of many things like roll number like name age and percentage so on so to student a sing to store a single student information actually in turn i have to store roll number name age and percentage of that student so i have to create a new data type which will consist of these parts and combination of this will create a single variable and that will be known as the component variable and the size of that component variable will, uh, will again be the fixed one why because it consists of fixed word size elements so the third part is fixed size component variable next is the space for constants in any algo there may exist some constants and they take the fixed amount of space in all the fixed part that is i have mentioned it with the c is the constant part which consists of all these four elements another part
part of the space complexity is variable part that depends upon the instance characteristics. The fixed part was independent of instance characteristics but the variable part is dependent upon the instance characteristics that is the number and size of the input and output parameters. This will contain ये दो चीजों से मिलके बना होता है that is space for reference variables and another is the recursion stack space. Now ये जो space for reference variable है ये depend करता है कि आपके program में आपने कुछ reference variables को use किया है जैसे for example array की बात करें तो normal in if we talk about C यदि C की बात करें तो C में जो array है that is called by reference. तो उस केस में रेफरेंस वेरिएबल की जरूरत पड़ सकती है या इसके अलावा भी यदि आप रेफरेंस वेरिएबल यूज करते हैं तो उसके लिए जो स्पेस लगेगा दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द इंस्टेंस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड द सेकंड पार्ट इज रिकर्शन स्टैक स्पेस बेसिकली जब हम लोग रिकर्सिव एल्गोरिथम्स बनाते हैं तो उसमें हमें स्टैक की जरूरत पड़ती है बिकॉज इंटरनली वी हैव टू स्टोर द एड्रेसेस ऑफ द फंक्शन कॉल्स नो व्हाई स्टैक इज यूज्ड हम लोगों ने लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर में इसके बारे में भी डिस्कशन किया था जब हमने रिकर्सिव एल्गोरिथम का एग्जाम्पल लिया था तो जब हम लोग रिकर्सिव फंक्शन कॉल करते हैं तो जो लास्ट रिकर्सिव फंक्शन कॉल होता है जहां से रिकर्सिव फंक्शन कॉल टर्मिनेट होता है दैट इज लास्ट इन और वहीं से हमें लौटना होता है दैट इज फर्स्ट आउट तो लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट एंड हेंस वी यूज अ स्टैक सो तो जो सेकेंड वेरिएबल पार्ट होता है जो कि इंस्टेंस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स पे डिपेंडेंट होता है उसमें रिकर्शन स्टैक स्पेस के लिए जितना स्पेस लगता है वो भी स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी का पार्ट होता है सो इन ऑल यदि मैं इस तरीके से डिफाइन करूं कि स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर एनी प्रॉब्लम पी विल बी दी सम ऑफ द फिक्स पार्ट दैट इज सी प्लस द सम ऑफ प्लस द part that is the variable part sp now we will take two examples do example lete hain jisme ki hum log space complexity calculate karke dekhenge in last video lecture hum logo ne kuch examples discuss kiye unhi mein se example main leta hu jiska ki hame space complexity calculate karna hai let's say for example hame ek array diya hua hai aur us array ke elements ka summation we have to calculate और उस एल्गोरिथम की मुझे स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी कैलकुलेट करनी है हाउ वी विल गो फॉर दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल राइट द एल्गोरिथम सो लेट्स से एल्गोरिथम एंड द नेम ऑफ एल्गो इज लेट्स से सम एंड द इनपुट पैरामीटर्स विल बी ए फॉर दैट इज एरे एंड एन इज द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द एरे हियर वी हैव टेकन अ वेरिएबल सम एंड द इनिशियल वैल्यू ऑफ दैट वेरिएबल विल बी जीरो एंड विल अप्लाई अ लूप Starting from one to n do and perform the summation that is sum is equal to sum plus a of i and lastly we will return this sum. Now we have to calculate the space complexity for this algorithm. How this can be obtained? So we will. डिस्कस इट फॉर हियर ना स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस यहां से शुरुआत करते हैं दट एन इज द साइज ऑफ एरे एंड इफ ईच एलिमेंट स्टोर्ड इन एन एरे कंटेन्स वन वर्ड ऑफ और टेक्स वन वर्ड ऑफ मेमोरी सो फॉर एरे For array, the memory requirement will be what will be that? N words. Assuming that one element is of one word, the array contains n elements. Then the size of array will be n words. Now, the memory requirement for the variable n that will be one word then the next variable is sum this is the simple variable so here for sum we will require one word of memory again 
and then what next the variable i which is used over here and this will again require one word of memory if we sum it yadi hum ise sum karte hain to kya hoga that is n plus 3 to be on the safer side we may say that the space complexity for this problem p that is sum will be greater than or equal to n plus 3 so this is the space required total space required for the completion of this algorithm very much simple now we should take another example for the recursive algorithms in case of recursive algorithm the same the same sum of array problem we will go through the recursive one kaise likha ja sakta hai recursive algorithm sum of elements of array ke liye so i'll write algorithm the name of let's say as it is recursive so i will term it as r sum and there will be a and n simple now kal humne last class mein last video lecture mein iske liye algorithm likha tha so hum logo ne yahan par termination condition likhi thi ki if n is equal to 0 or if n is less than equal to 0 one and the same thing then we have to return 0 means if the array contains zero elements or less than zero elements then the sum of all the array elements will be zero but if it is not so then we will call the same function like that so that is a of n plus the function r sum of a of n minus 1 please go through the last video on how to write the algorithm to have an idea of that we have already written this algorithm in the previous lecture now we have to calculate the space requirement for this algorithm so how we can obtain this now jab bhi recursive algorithms ki baat hoti hai to hame do cheeze dhyan mein rakhni hoti hai pehli to depth of recursion depth of recursion means how many number of time this recursive execution will take place now normal cases if this is n for this is this is for n the depth of recursion will be i will write that that is depth of recursion will be n plus 1 n plus 1 times this recursive function will execute all calling whole calling functions now at each function call or e at each recursive function call we will require three words of memory wo kaise wo kya hogi wo dekhte hain yahan main usko likh deta hu hame jab bhi recursive function calling hogi to local variable ke liye memory first दूसरा एड्रेस रिटर्न एड्रेस स्टोर करने के लिए मेमोरी और तीसरा जो फॉर्मल आर्ग्यूमेंट्स है उनके लिए मेमोरी इनकी जरूरत पड़ेगी यहां हम लोग बात करें दी फॉर्मल आर्ग्यूमेंट इज एन एंड एन के लिए मुझे कितनी मेमोरी लगेगी दैट इज वन वर्ड दैट दैट एन इज दी फॉर्मल आर्ग्यूमेंट उसके लिए मुझे वन वर्ड ऑफ मेमोरी लगेगी दूसरा रिटर्न एड्रेस के लिए टू स्टोर द रिटर्न एड्रेस वी विल रिक्वायर वन वर्ड ऑफ मेमोरी अगेन ओके एंड देन द वन वर्ड ऑफ मेमोरी विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू स्टोर द रेफरेंस और द एड्रेस ऑफ this array a that is reference to a and for that again we will require one word of memory so each during each recursive function call we will require three words of memory 
and the total depth of recursion is n plus 1 hence the space complexity will be greater than or equal to that is 3 n plus 1 three words and n plus 1 are the is the depth of recursion so we'll multiply that and this is how the total space complexity for this recursive algorithm will be that is 3 n plus 1 so we have taken two examples to calculate uh, the space complexity one is normal function call another is the recursive function call जब हम लोग recursive function call के लिए complexity निकालते हैं तब आपको विशेष ध्यान रखना है कि आपको दो चीजें पता होनी चाहिए पहला तो depth of recursion क्या है दूसरा हर recursive function call में आपको कितनी memory required रहेगी उसमें तीन चीजें होगी पहला memory for your formal arguments then memory for return address and memory for normal variable which are used here so this is all about the space complexity in next video we will discuss the time complexity please do like share and comment subscribe my video channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates thank you